in episode one of this My Player Career Mode, you saw this. The backstory of myself, Rafael Ruiz, and the backstory of my family, who lived a very, well, I don't even know what you want to call it, a very criminalish lifestyle, where they were very wealthy, but it was for a reason. Reasons like that. That clip you just saw in, in the last episode, you saw this. Midnight, a knock on my door. Who could it be? I honestly had no idea. And when I opened the door and I walked all the way outside my apartment, there was a man waiting for me. A man I didn't really recognize, but he felt familiar. He was wearing a suit and well, he told me something that, frankly, I couldn't believe. He said he was working as a lawyer in the case involving my family and the robberies that had taken place, and he thinks that I was involved. He thinks I was helping them, when in reality, I was clueless. And what he told me was, you better be ready, because we're coming after you. We want to put you, lock you away with your family, in the involvement with the robberies, with the shootings. Boys, if, if this is true and they can get me for this, my career could be in jeopardy. So, let's get into this episode. Some crazy storylines to start things out. We'll see how that progresses. But here's Rafael Ruiz. So, I've got the cheat engine now on PC, which means I've fixed the skill move glitch. We are down, back, to three star skills, at least as it shows here. Hopefully it doesn't change in game. Those are some of my stats though. We are at a 75 overall and we're getting back into things here in Liga Nos. What a game this is gonna be. Sportsing against Befica. A match like no other, boys. This is gonna be a good one. Get ready, let's get into this one. Into the match we go. And I need to apologize for a few things. First off, my voice. Do I sound a little different? Because I lost my voice this weekend and i was away i was on a little holiday vacation which is why i didn't post the past two days hopefully you can forgive me for that guys um but we're back now my player is here it is episode four is it not and we are gonna be ending this season very very soon we're gonna get in well no we already are in january in this episode i believe this is our first game being played the january transfer window is now open i don't plan on leaving but we could be seeing some big transfers soon. What nil to Sportsing? They take the lead in this one and we fall behind. I told you, man, this is going to be a hell of a game. Two of the top teams here in the Liga Nos. And they start things out with a bang. Let's see the cross right here. And the volley first time. Wow, what a goal. Um, Credit right there to Sportsing. That's a way to kick off a game if I've ever seen one. And I love the celebration as he like runs up to the camera. One of the cool new ones that has been added this year in FIFA Swansea. This time, though, our keeper on top of his game, saving this one 38th minute. And into the 41st minute we go, where Sportsing is literally just all over us. What is happening? Our first shot of the game comes right before halftime. And that would be halftime. And things are not looking good for us whatsoever. And it's honestly crazy where we're at at this point in the season. I did not expect to be this successful with Befica, we've been getting our goals, we've been getting our assists, but also with our team, we are, I'm pretty sure we're top of the table, or at least tied for the top of the table, with, um, I don't think it was Sporting, I think it was Porto, but either way, we're top of the table, and Champions League action is coming soon, round of 16, the draw will be in this episode, and we might just be playing our first game, check this out right here, boys, let's go, 87th minute, we equalize, it's about time, I mean, Oh my god, Sportsing, this game was theirs to win. We had just been suffering. We couldn't do anything. I don't know how I got this pass away, but I did. And we could get one more look right here. It's just a sweaty goal, isn't it, man? But it's an assist, and it is going to give us one point in this game right here. Manager's happy. I'll take the assist. We'll take the draw. It's against a very tough team, but we need these wins. If we want to win this league title, I'd like to string together a few wins here in the next few games in the league so that we can sort of bridge this gap or 
build this gap, I should say, between us and the second, third, fourth place team, and so on. 1-1 one, one in this one. And this is something that I've been wanting to do ever since I became a footballer. You see, my parents never let me get a tattoo when I was living with them. And now I think it's time, boys. I think it's time to do something, get a cool tattoo. But what is this tattoo going to be of? Well, you guys are going to see. But one thing I do need to talk about first is tattoos in FIFA. In the actual game, we're going to add this tattoo to our my player right here in the GTA cutscenes, but I'm still working out how to add tattoos to my my player via the FIFA 20 cheat engine. If you guys don't know what that is, of course, we play this my player on PC so that I can do the cool mods and whatnot. And as we get into this training session, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out, man. We were able to fix the skill move glitch, but other than that, I'm still working on adding tattoos um, and doing some other things as well. So hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll not only have the tattoo on our GTA player, but we can get a few tattoos on our actual player here in FIFA 20. As this training drill, we are up to a 76 overall in our first season, man. It's crazy how much we're progressing. Really, we could end this season around an 80 overall maybe that is if we probably played every game from here on out which we don't do as you guys know with this series and kind of most all the career modes that i do on this channel i hate like i hate the fact i don't know how you guys feel but i hate the fact that it takes like 20 episodes to finish one season does that bug you guys i don't know I, it does for me which is why we simulate a lot of the games and we get through these seasons in like five six episodes we play a bunch of games per episode. We do all the storylines. If you guys want me to go back to 20 games per season, or tw not 20 games, but 20 episodes per season, we can do that, but I'm just not a big fan of it, boys. Let me know in the comments how you feel about that, as in to this game we go and we fall behind once again. It is literally such a similar game to the last one we played where our opposition in the first half is just turning up and what is going on man we can't afford another draw right here or we might fall down to that second third fourth place position the team we're playing right here i didn't get an updated look at the table but they're either fourth or fifth so this is a team that we should not be taking lightly we're playing on the road as well and you could tell they came to play they came ready to roll nice header keeper not the best effort. Let's move on, though, because we got plenty of time left in this game to do something for ourselves. Literally seconds later, though, a few passes strung together. And hey, look at this, man. We put it in. Let's go. 1-1 one, one equalizer. We didn't have to wait till like, the final minutes of this game to score, unlike last game where we did just that. We got the equalizer early. We're going to have a chance to get a game winner here, perhaps in the first half, maybe later on in the second half. And let's talk about this goal right here. We green time it. And wow, what a strike, man. It could be one of the top goals of my career so far. If you missed last episode, we put in a few good goals as well. We scored, I want to say, two volleys, which is something that you don't really expect from a youngster like myself. Third goal of the season. And, of course, we have some goals as well in the Champions League, other competitions. And that is how the first half would come to a close. And as I scored that goal right there, it's kind of got me thinking, wow, I, I need to continue to up my game because we're in January. Of course, I'm not going to be moving this January to a new team. But the summer transfer window is coming so soon. And I need to start impressing some other teams, showing my potential do we want to move next summer? I really haven't even, like, this is the first time I've thought about it. What do we do here? Befica gave me this great opportunity. We haven't really proven ourselves as an insane player just yet. We're still rising up. We're definitely not worth the $120 million that um, Joe Felix was at this age. So, yeah, what do we do? Do you guys want us to stay here for one more season? I would definitely not be opposed to it. Or maybe we find a smaller team in the championship, the Premier League, somewhere else, this area. I don't know, but there is potential for us to leave. And there's definitely potential for us to stay as we've earned a starting spot on this club. We're competing in the Champions League. We got it going for us right now. It's up to you, though. 
you guys gotta let me know this game is gonna end 1-1 back-to-back -back draws not good we're definitely gonna be falling down the ranks in the table in Liga Nos. and we got some transfers taking place here it is deadline day Ruben Diaz one of our players moving to Liverpool hate to see that man and this is so crazy Hyungman's son to Real Madrid 100 million pounds oh my god and we're gonna scroll past Befica right here and wow one player brought in on a free contract and literally five players sold what are we doing are we are we even trying to win the champions league are we trying to win liga nos i don't know what's going on one thing that i do know that's going on is the champions league in this the draw has put us against fc barcelona you're kidding me right like is this reality am i seeing this right Barcelona, Befica, oh my gosh. I'm literally just starting my career in the professional football world and I'm gonna already be facing the likes of one of the best footballers of all time, one of the best football clubs of all time, Lionel Messi. The showdown, boys. Barcelona against Befica. <laughs> oh my God, we might actually get destroyed 5-0 in both legs, but no. I can't think like that, boys. Let's get into this one. Leg one, it is home. Barcelona are crossing the border. They're coming over to Portugal right here for this all-important matchup. Let's go. Home game. At least a draw in this one. But you know what? At least no goals for Barca. Let's get the clean sheet. We don't want them to get any of those away goals. It's very very unlikely that we're going to be advancing past this round and beating Barcelona but it's football you never know what's going to happen man hey if we play two great games right here we could do it and we just got to think that way and believe in ourselves let's go boys oh my god I can't believe it I'm starting against Barcelona and this is something where hey we're playing against Barca right now but four five six years down the road Hey, that could be one of my goals. I want to be playing for Barcelona. I want to be playing for those big clubs in Europe. So this is just the start. And it's a chance to prove myself on the biggest stage in world football. If we can put on a show here, get a goal or two. Who knows, man? What if Barca offered for us in year two of our career? It's probably not going to happen. But you never know, man. People see my potential. People see what I'm about. The clubs are going to be calling my name. Look at this chance, though, from Barca to start things out. We got to worry about them not scoring first because you're going to see early on in this game, it was all about Barcelona on the attacking end right here. What a shot right here. 15th minute. Let's get another look. Great skill. Great save from the keeper, too. That's one thing we're relying on, man. Our keeper, he's allowed a few goals in the past two games. Can he keep the clean sheet in this one? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? How did that one not go in? It hits off the crossbar and then the cross again. And it hits off the crossbar again. <laughs> oh, my God. We are so unlucky. Could have had two goals right there. Literally two insane opportunities to score. And then Barca marching back down the field. This was just going to be a crazy game, man. Chances left and right for both teams. And we get halftime. It's nil-nil. Whew. I need to breathe because that first half what was just a madness that's all the literally the only way i could describe it oh my god we need to continue this form our goalkeeper our defense need to continue that but myself and the rest of our attackers let's go it's time to turn up it's time to put one of these balls in the back of the nets oh my i just froze could you imagine that ball would have gone in is getting close to the end of this game and some of the last chances for us to score what a shot this was man i mean the finesse shot Going for that top corner. We couldn't do it. 84th minute. Yet another chance. The second half. It was all about Befica. And right here, the final chance is cleared away. The game ends. Nil-nil. For as much action as there was in that game. Honestly can't believe that it ended scoreless. And we're going to Barcelona in the next episode with a lot of work to do. And a lot of defending to do. And a lot of goals that need to be scored. Will we be able to do it, boys? Next episode coming soon. But, oh my gosh. I still can't believe that match, man. What a game it was. Do you think we have a chance at actually beating Barca? Because after that one, I think we do. But you never know. 
playing at Barcelona's home ground is going to be difficult. The training continues, preparing for this game against the Barca. But at the beginning of the episode, you saw that conversation, and I'd almost forgot about it. I was going for my morning jog when I saw the same man with, with a few others. And they told me that I needed to come with them. And I need to answer a few questions about my parents and about what I'd been doing during that whole ordeal and situation. And they also told me that, son, your football career could be coming to an end if we're right about things. Guys, I'm getting framed. I'm getting set up. I didn't do anything, but my season could be over. And not only my season, but my entire career, boys. What is going to happen to Rafael Ruiz? Finds out in the next episode. Things are taking a turn for the worst. We'll see you guys then.